I'm Ann Blackwell Thompson. My business is Blackwell Botanicals and I'm based in Richmond, Virginia. I would say my overarching theme is exploring nature, being open to seeing nature in a different interpretation. And I feel like with botanical arts, it's almost a resurgence. When people ask me what I do and I describe myself as a botanical artist, I think they immediately think that I am painting, but that's not my particular art medium of choice. So my art medium is the actual plant material. I like plants that have a little bit of personality to them and some unique characteristics. When I'm out harvesting, I'm not looking for perfection. I don't feel like nature is perfect and I'm not striving for perfection. That little hole that might be or that little fern that might turn a little different way than what you would probably normally expect is actually what I'm searching for when I'm harvesting. So the labor of working in this art medium is pretty time consuming. Right after I harvest, I have to immediately dissect the stems and put them in presses in a very short amount of time. When you open up the plant press, it almost looks like a jigsaw puzzle. You might have 200 pieces that I've completely dissected and once I open up that press, after they've completely dried, I need to reconstruct that plant. So you have to have a very thorough knowledge of what that plant would look like, but then you need the patience to put it back together. You need the sculpture skills as well. And I use all sorts of different tools for that too. Everything from scalpels to dental tools to orthodontic tools to tweezers. I mean, you name it. I feel like plants have impacted my life by just giving me a sense of zen. And I am so fortunate that I get to spend a sunny day outside, working in beautiful gardens, harvesting from clients' gardens, or just Queen Anne's lace that's growing on the side of the road, or the wisteria growing up a telephone pole. I hope people experience a love of nature and awe of nature. I hope that they take some of the educational components and it makes them want to explore. It makes them want to visit some of these public gardens and see these rare lily pads and see plants that perhaps wouldn't normally be growing in their yard, but that might interest them. With nature, you can just, you can never get bored. 